So thanks to the rain, it is life-giving. Um, and I just want to say to you, welcome to Seattle Forest Week. Has anyone been to another Seattle Forest Week event this, this week? Anybody else? Yeah, nice, awesome. We've got a few folks who've been to other things. If you haven't, Seattle Forest Week is a celebration of Seattle's forest. You might not think of it, but you live in a forest. Um, it's called our urban forest, and we have, you know, the trees in your yard, at your school, um, at your church, you know, at your synagogue, wherever you are in the city, those places are, those trees there are part of this very beautiful, very necessary forest. And so that's what this week is, this is a celebration. Um, today we are going to be planting 21 beautiful trees. to learn uh, you know many people I, I hadn't <laughs> planted a lot of bur ball and burlap trees it's a special time type of large tree that's going to be going into the park so that's going to be a little different process than planting the street tree so we're going to start with a demonstration um, and I'll get into some logistics in a second um, and also just a reminders about caring for our bodies but I also just wanted to take a minute and be grateful to the land um, to the indigenous folks who've been caring for this land since time immemorial. You and I, all of us here, are joining that awesome tradition today um, because we are helping care for this place. We're adding shade. There's a school right there, if you don't know. So this is not just a play field, this is a school. So this is a place where people can come and find refuge on a hot day. This is a place where people can recreate. There's definitely a lot of dogs out, so also keep an eye out for that. But this land is really beautiful. It's really important to all the folks in this neighborhood. And so um, we're just helping keep that legacy going of caring for this place. I also just want to say, um, you know, happy Dia de los Muertos, happy Diwali. Um, it's a, you know, this, uh, this, uh, this weekend. Um, so it's kind of a cool time because we've been like reflecting on a lot of death maybe in your household, maybe not, but Halloween. Um, and now we're planting new life, which is really cool. So I just wanted to have that moment for that today. Um, and then, as we're going out today, just a reminder to care for the trees, but also care for yourselves. We've got tamales, um, we've got <laughs> breakfast burritos, veggie breakfast burritos. Those are kind of under the tent back there. We've got snacks and water. Um, we have got a bathroom over here. Um, so please take care of yourself. Make sure that you're drinking water. It's kind of chilly, but you still need to drink some water. I will be your mom today. So make sure you're drinking the water. Make sure you're taking breaks. Um, and then also, like, we want you to go and have a really great weekend. So these trees are heavy and beefy. Be careful of your backs. Be careful. Ask for help. I know you don't know everybody here, but just say, hey, do you mind if I can help me? I'm going to move this tree or like whatever you need. Um, or I can't do this. Can someone help me? Please, please, please do that. We want you to go have a great Sunday and feel like happy and active and not feel hurt. So please be careful of your body. Um, the other thing I'm gonna ask is that every sharp pointy thing should always be pointed at the ground and never at someone else. So we don't carry shovels over our shoulder. Um, when we point shovels at the ground, we wanna make the, sh the sharp end, the business end down towards the ground. Um, and just keep an eye out for folks. Um, the other pieces, I already mentioned this, if you are in the street tree planting, I do, you have to be wearing one of these vests. Um, it is a spot that there is traffic coming by. It's a neighborhood, but still, we just really want to make sure that people are seen. Cars are going to be looking for you, but you also should be looking for cars. And hopefully we're not really stepping into the street much, um, but I just want to make sure of that. Um, and then if you are a little person, that is under the age of say like 12, uh, I want to say to you that you have a special time today. We're going to do a special planting. Michael over here is going to lead folks and you know if you're young at heart and you want to come, there's going to be some baby plants planted um, in the natural area. Uh, 
um, but it's a great time that if like moving giant trees <laughs> isn't possible for you for whatever reason that you can come and do some of that um, so it's a real nice experience we'll probably do that about can we say 10 actually can we do 10 o'clock sure so so pretty soon you can come check out some trees getting planted and then come back here um and michael will be here and leave people out to uh get some baby trees and actually excuse me baby shrubs in the ground um all right are there any questions comments anything i forgot before we get started the proclamation oh well i don't have it to read i apologize to you I did not bring it today, but um, if you didn't see on social media, uh, Mayor Harold did proclaim it to be Seattle Forest Week, so it is officially Seattle Forest Week uh, this week, and um, today is officially Seattle Arbor Day, so uh, grateful to that, and that helps us keep our Tree City USA status. Um, we also have some like special things about Seattle City Light, I'm not going to say it right, so uh, Anyway, we have some special utility line um, certifications and things like that. Um, and I also want to, before we go, also extend gratitude to all the departments here. Um, we've got uh, just, you know, folks who are advocates for trees in the city. We've got folks who are arborists in the city all here together. And um, I just hope that you get a chance to meet somebody. So maybe say hey to somebody that you haven't met as well. All right. If you... Yes, one, no. one comment I wanted to make, uh, this application for this year will be Seattle's 40th. It is our 40th. This will be our, uh, we will be applying for our 40th Tree City USA. Yeah, uh, that's so exciting. So, yeah, so that, I've been writing that application out too many times. Nice. Uh, and I, just as a, as a note, uh, the trees that are getting planted on the street uh, are Franklin trees, which are, uh, this is going to be the first ones in Seattle. It's extinct in the wild. Uh, it was discovered in the 1700s in Georgia, and uh, by the time they got to 1803, they couldn't find it in the wild anymore. So uh, these are... Franklin trees, Google them up. It, it's a pretty cool we little story. We actually have an info sheet at the Trees for Seattle table. Oh, if you have any questions about Franklin trees, uh, thanks to Anna from Dirt Core who made that. Um, and then um, if you've got any questions, we do have an Ask an Arborist. Rhea is going to be sitting here. Um, Rhea uh, works for Trees for Neighborhoods. We have extra trees this year <coughs> still to place. So if you know a place that trees should go that is on private property, <laughs> sorry, I should add that caveat and unfortunately no longer street trees you've already permitted all of our street trees this year um bria's got some trees i'd love to talk to you um but if there's nothing else any other thing yes you might see a pile of plants over oh, here yeah, sorry. no no trees but uh, some beautiful native shrubs over here and those are to give away so if you want to come over here and ask me about some of these shrubs that I have at the Green Seattle Partnership table. Um, you can wait till the end of the day uh, if, if that's easier to load them into your car. But come, we can talk about some native shrubs and you can take one home. Awesome. All right, if you know that you would like to, I'll start, start sending them first. Uh, if you know that you want to learn more about these Franklin trees and get out into the street and you don't have a little tiny person with you. The orange guys. You are going to follow these orange guys. <laughs> Jessica and Anne are going to be doing our demonstration. And then Joel, Gary, Paul and their crew are going to take care of you. So if you know that you want to go plant those Franklin trees in the street, you can start heading out. There is a tea pack at 13th and 